I was the first one to report on the shady, dubious nature of this 23andMe Google company and how they were really just wanting your DNA for marketing reasons and were selling you a bill of goods. None of these genetic tests have gone through trials to show that they actually predict the diseases they're claiming. Well, they were taken off the market by the FDA and then got back on the market somehow. It's rumored that the outgoing FDA commissioner Gottlieb is in bed with Google. Uh, he's making it really easy for Silicon Valley to approve medical devices like iWatch or the Apple Watch and so forth. Well, this commercial is just out of control. First of all, they're promoting tests that are not validated, as I previously said. But what I've noticed is they're talking about diseases also that don't even exist, such as restless leg syndrome. They're trying to say there's a gene that predicts restless leg syndrome when there is no such thing as restless leg <laughs> syndrome. And, and they're trying to say that you can predict whether you're an elite athlete. This is unbelievable. Listen up, I'm a gene that impacts your muscle composition. No, you're not. There is no gene that we know of that you can do a little test on and say whether you're an elite athlete or not, which is what they're implying. Beating BD9 here. I could influence how much you move your arms and legs in your sleep. I'm a twitchy little gene. See, they got really careful there. They said, we could influence. In other words, we don't know what the hell we're talking about. We don't even know if this is a real disease or not. Unbelievable. Hi, we're two of the genes that may impact the risk for celiac disease. Here's my favorite. Celiac disease, as I've written about many, many times with the authors, is not even a real disease. There's very, very few people who have true celiac disease where the gluten makes their bowels uh, upset. And I interviewed the Harvard author of the, all of this stuff, and he is dismayed like me at how his research has been abused. So this, this gluten intolerance is one of the biggest non-diseases out there. Every New Yorker thinks they have gluten intolerance. Neanderthal trait? Lactose intolerance. Caffeine consumption. <clears throat> Caffeine consumption is genetically predictable. Okay, yep, show me the studies on that one. This Mother's Day, give mom the gift of over 125 genetic reports with $30 off each health plus ancestry kit at 23andMe.com. I highly recommend the book Surveillance Capitalism that uh, came out a few months ago by a Harvard business professor as well as a philosophy uh, professor. Uh, she's been following this concept of the rise of Google and Facebook uh, and so forth for a long time. And um, it's absolutely scary what they're trying to do. They basically need to know everything about you, even to your genetic level, in order for their business models to work. Because their goal is to not only know about you, but predict what you're going to do. And they can only predict if they have a vast amount of data. So the best information about you is your genetic information because you can predict a lot of things about humans. Not yet, that's why this test is bogus, but soon, yes. And if they have this treasure trove of genetic information, they will be able to predict and control you. It's not some tinfoil conspiracy. Read it. She's a Harvard professor. It's absolutely scary what's going on.